All right, so I told you the location of the survivors, and yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, I guess good job. Is there anything else? Like, did you find anybody injured or dead, or was that it? Just, just the two, and then when you brought them home, just, just the people that are in there, and you, yeah. Well, I know that there's a house somewhere in the woods, um, so that might have some people in it. I mean, I didn't go in and check because the doors were locked and so were the windows. So there was really no way for me to get in there. I tried to break the window, but then I saw this really creepy person staring at me and I got scared. So I just like left it alone after that. Okay, so there is somebody there and that somebody scared you. Like that somebody freaked you out. So you chickened out and left, even though... You live in hell, and you've probably seen people ten times more scary and ten times stronger than whoever that is. That person scared you? Well, yeah, because they were creepy! Okay, they had glowing red eyes, and they were like pitch black, and they had very sharp and very long teeth. I was not about to mess with that. Nuh-uh, that house is clearly occupied. I don't know if that is like a survivor or if that is like pure evil and i don't know if maybe that's the person that's behind this building being blown up i don't know but i was not about to stick around and find out because then my life would be at risk and i was not mm -mm, nope 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 i'm sorry like i get it you're veda's sister slash kid or whatever but i'm not gonna put my life at risk for you and again i apologize if that hurts your ego because you probably think you're better than everybody else because of that but I'm just not willing to die for you, okay? That's all. Don't tell Veda. Oh, don't worry. I won't tell Veda. Whew, thank God. Instead, though, did you know that it only takes 30 minutes for a cockroach to die in a microwave? Why are you telling me that? Why does that matter? That's a weird fact, but like, why did you tell me that? Oh, I just, I just, <laughs> I just figured, you know, you seem to look a lot like one, so maybe that's how long it'll take to kill you in a microwave. Okay, that was rude and very uncalled for, Crystal. Ow. Well, I mean, I just, you know, you wanna, you wanna get mouthy, so I just figured I'd remind you who you're talking to. Well, joke's on you. I can't even fit in a microwave. Yeah, but you can fit in an oven, and I'm sure it'll only take 10 minutes to kill you in an oven. Okay. Um, okay, you know what? Just forget I said anything. Forget I said that. Okay, I take it back. I promise. Just forget I said it. Oh, I will not forget that. I'll pretend, but I'm not going to forget that. I'll remember that next time you need me. Or my sister. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, well, hmm, I brought that kid back to Veda, like she asked, so now I have nothing else to do, so I need to go to Crystal and, I guess, figure out what she wants me to do. Ugh, man, I don't get paid enough, I swear. And I just thought I'd warn you because they warned me. Um, apparently there are these two people, apparently, like, one is a bunny, and one's a chicken, and they were described as being kind of, like, orange-ish, and they were really torn up, had sharp teeth, they were very strong and very fast, and they were not friendly. That That's what I was told. They were not friendly, they were violent and mean, and that they were fast, and that's what they looked like, um... So, yeah, there's two people, I'm assuming, that are bad or, you know, may not like company here. So, be on the lookout for those, and we might have to kill them or trap them or something. Um, but I just figured I would let you know that they're there. Okay. Noted. I haven't seen anybody that fits either of those descriptions, and nor have I smelled anybody that would fit that description. Okay, I'm sorry, what? Uh, what? <laughs> how do you- okay, hold on. Off topic, how do you smell people that fit that description? Well, you said they were orange and all torn up, had really sharp teeth, and looked like they were on fire, correct? 
Yeah. And if they looked like they were on fire, chances are they probably were on fire, correct? Okay, maybe, or maybe like it's just a special effect. Yeah, sweetheart, highly doubt it. So, with that being said, what do you think that they would smell like if they were walking around on fire? Uh, gross, like cooked meat or something, or like cooked flesh, ew, that sounds gross. Or maybe cooked metal, whatever material they're, I don't know what, how this is. I don't know if they're like robots or if they're humans. I don't know what they are. Chances are they're probably humans or like human-ish. I, I don't know. Some might be robots, some, I don't know. I haven't really met anybody alive yet. All I've seen are people that are like dead or like close to death. So I have no idea. Um, either way though, um, so, you know, it probably wouldn't be hard to smell them if they were on fire, don't you think? Because there's a big difference between, like, a building being on fire and how that smells compared to a robot or a person being on fire. That would smell completely different, so I'm pretty sure if I couldn't see them, I would have smelled them. But I haven't, so I'm assuming that they're probably not around here. Okay, you know what? That actually makes some sense. It's really weird, but it makes sense. And you're probably right. I know, I'm always right. Hey, Crystal. Uh, sorry, I kind of ran off on you there. I had some stuff to do for your sister, mother. Well, what is she to you? She's my mother to me. Okay, I just thought I'd ask if she never, like, clarified, because I've heard her call you both her daughter and her sister. Eh, yeah, both. I mean, she's technically my sister, but she raised me my entire life, literally since the hour I was born. So, yeah, may as well be my mother. Plus, she did name me. Very strange. Yeah, very. She's the one who dealt with all, like, the birth certificate stuff, too. How old was Veda when she took you? Like 14 or so, I think. Yeah, 14. Damn. Okay. And you're like, what, 15 now? Yeah. Hmm, crazy. Okay. So, uh, anyways, so that's what you were doing? That's where you've been? I thought you told me that you were going to find Crystal to see what your order was. You told her that? Yeah, um, because it was really none of her business, what I was doing. But no, I was doing orders that Veda told me to do. I just didn't want to tell you because your nosy ass would have followed me everywhere and would have complained that, Oh, you don't have to do anything! Blah, blah, blah. Why do I gotta get stuck doing all the hard work? <laughs> okay, stop laughing, that's not funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's pretty, I mean, I guess everyone's comedy is different, but yeah, that's an accurate, you know, what, what would you think? Is that an accurate uh, description of her or like, you know, oh yeah, definitely seems accurate. Okay. You two are both really rude. Um, anyways. Okay. So you're done doing what Veda told you to do. So what are you going to give her as an order? Uh, I don't know. All I told you to do was find survivors. That's it. If, you know, find survivors, tell me if you find anyone that's injured or dead or anything like that. That's all I gave you. And considering that you can teleport, you have speed, and you have a device that literally puts a, like, tells you how many people are actively alive in this dimension, I figured it wouldn't be so hard for you. I mean, it wasn't hard. It was just time consuming. Or you're just lazy. That's probably what it really was. Okay, you know what? Can I go? Because I would like some time to decompress and take my mind off of things. You know, I want to go explore too, considering she got to. I didn't get to explore this place. Oh, yeah? Then what did Veda have you do? Because I guarantee you it wasn't anything like me. Oh, dear God, I want to kill myself. Okay, don't do that. Your sister already did that once. Anyways, um, yeah. What did you do then? Uh, none of your business. That's what I did. Well, it kind of is my business. Actually, it's not, okay? It's not your business. 
I am literally Veda's spy. The whole point of my job is to sneak around and spy on people and gather information and locations and stuff like that. That is my job. Me telling you what Veda had me do would literally go against my entire job description. Don't you think? We work for the same person. We're literally co-workers. Doesn't matter. That would literally ruin my whole thing. So I'm not telling you anything. Now go. Uh, I can't because she didn't tell me if I could or not. Just go and I'll tell her that you did it anyways. Okay, fine. Whatever. God. Sometimes I wonder how has she not been fired or killed yet? How is she also not broken contract? I would really like to know. I want to know. I want to know how she was hired. That's what... Uh, you know, never mind. I don't... Crystal, come back. That's so stupid. I love how they were both just like laughing and making jokes or whatever. But that's fine. They can make jokes all they want because little do they know I have the upper hand. Speaking of upper hands, she should be here any second now. So me going off just to decompress was actually me meeting her here so that she can explain to me what she needs me to do. Because overall, Veda's mother is actually a way better boss than she is. So that's why I would rather work for her than work for Veda. And I do not my I don't regret my decisions at all. Ah, <sighs> okay. I'm here. Let me just Okay, so are you sure Crystal's here and Veda's not? Uh, yeah, positive. Veda's not here. She stayed behind. She is letting Crystal do this all on her own. Really? She's gonna let a 15-year-old girl handle this on her own? Yeah. Do you not think that's a little bit, I don't know, irresponsible of her? I have no idea. Either way... I got you here, okay? I got you to Crystal. Now, where's my payment? Shut up. Your payment is staying alive. Now, thank you for informing me that Crystal is here. Where is she? I don't know. She walked off, so I have no idea where she went. Um, there is a house in the woods that I did tell her about, so she's probably there. Or she could be near that big blown up building over there. Are you sure that place is blown up? Nothing about that place looks blown up. Well, she repaired it, but there's still fire damage. You can literally see. Plus, the roof isn't fixed yet. Oh, okay. Alrighty, well, I will go check, I guess. Thank you for letting me know. You're welcome. Okay. Um, no need to close off this dimension yet since I'm here, but... I may as well do it, just... Actually, no, I'll do it later. I'm not... There's no threat right now, so we're fine. Okay, follow me. Okay, I can do that. Okay, puppet, uh, I told Shadow Bonnie, and he said that's fine. Okay, good, good. Also, I thought I would inform you two, since you're back now. We have some visitors visitors yeah uh whenever i was walking around um with puppet earlier on our way back we saw some people that aren't from here yeah wait a minute was it that hippo and that little tiny bear thing no 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 it looked one of them was like white and blue purple hair green eyes and the other one was like white and gray and it was a chicken and she had like black on her and some jewels on her and like eyebrow piercings and earrings in like emo looking huh that's weird because a few days ago i just so happened to see uh a, a, a like a wolf that looked kind of like that she was wearing red and she had spikes all around her and she had a necklace that had a key attached to it, and she had, like, gray hair. Huh. Yeah, th those people aren't from here. That's what I'm saying. We have visitors. I don't really like visitors. The last time we got visitors, 
You guys know what happened. You guys know. Oh yeah, I know what happened last time we got visitors. Hey, last time you guys got visitors, I was like murdered and thrown into a dumpster and nobody noticed. Well, to be fair, we didn't even know that there were two Ennards. We thought it was just the one. We didn't know that you were sneaking around the pizzeria. Plus, none of those people killed you. Mangle found you, and Mangle killed you and threw you in the dumpster. Well, still, that was very rude of her, and it only happened when visitors arrived. Well, to be fair, it probably would have happened sooner or later, considering Mangle has a very good sense of smell. Exactly. But hey, you're out of the dumpster now, and you're alive, and you're with a better crew. That's got to make you feel better, right? Ah, <sighs> I guess. Well, either way, I don't like that. I don't like there being visitors here because all they do is cause problems. More people are going to die. It's probably going to be the same thing. Things are going to get destroyed. People are going to get kidnapped, and we can't have that. Plus, visitors being here means that it's going to interfere with our plan, and I will not sit here and allow that to happen. So, all five of us are going to hunt down these visitors, and we are going to capture them. And then we're going to make sure that they didn't tamper with anything. And once we've done that, then we're going to go back and we're going to question them and see what their motives are. And then depending on how they talk to us and depending on how they treat us, we'll determine if we kill them or if we let them go. Well, if we let them go, then how do we know that they're actually going to leave and they're not just going to, you know, stay here and hide and cause problems behind the scenes? You know, that's our job to cause problems behind the scenes, not theirs. Exactly, which is why I will follow them, and I will show them where the portal is, and I will shove them through it and block off this dimension once and for all. Okay, puppet. Not to be rude, you don't have the power to, one, summon or activate a portal, and you also don't have the power to close off this dimension. Only, like, the overseer does. And we don't even know who the Overseer is. We've never met her. We've never seen her. We just know that it's a girl, and she oversees everything. So, yeah. Like, who's to say that none of them are her? Because the Overseer doesn't have to go in dimensions. She only has to go in dimensions once a year. And that day, it's always on a specific day. And that day has not happened yet, meaning that there is no way in hell that the Overseer could be here visiting. And that's definitely not her, because the Overseer would come by herself. She wouldn't have to come with other, peeper, with other people. She would come alone, meaning that is not the Overseer, and we know it. Plus, the Overseer would be, like, more sneaky about it, okay? She wouldn't be so obvious. So... We are going to go find them, and we're going to go capture them. Now let's go. Okay, if you say so. Alrighty, hopefully all five of us can take three of them on. Because, like, they look really strong, I'm not going to lie. I'm sure we can handle it. Just burn them alive. Yeah, burn them alive. 